I took offense to the extent that I left the church and stayed in the house. And another offense is from my friends and my family uh, who are against, are against the anointing of this house. Um, and sometimes I'll be offended to the extent that I'll try to defend the anointing. And uh, as a result, uh, I've realized that my spirit is in a cage. I can't pray anymore. I can't read my Bible. Um, when I read my Bible, I don't understand anything. Sometimes I get lost in my mind. I can't see very well. And then in the house, I can't save as a normal wife or mother to my children, I find it difficult because I'm always angry, complaining, and uh, I've lost my connection with Papa in my dreams. I used to see him in my dreams. Whenever I have problem, he will come and rescue me. And then the last time I saw him, he was very angry. And... Um, I try to go from church to church looking for my deliverance. And then I've realized that instead of, of receiving my freedom, I'm being connected more wrongly and offended. Yes, so I ask for forgiveness from Papa and from God. God loves you. I forgive you. The spirit of Christ forgives you. In Jesus' name. Amen. You're forgiven. Next, let's love for Jesus. Greetings. My name is Aniki Maslela. I come from Bumalang, Mwamsang. Uh, my, my problem started when my mother died, and then my family started reject, rejecting me. They kicked me out of the family because I have a separated father. And then I moved to stay with my other sister in Nellis Great. And then that's when I became a born again. When I became a born again, uh, things started going well until I met this prophet who attempted to sleep with me, but I disagreed. And then ap after that, things became complicated. That's when uh, I lost my visions. I couldn't see anything anymore. I couldn't even understand people. And then after that, I tried to commit suicide. I don't even remember how many pills I drank, but in the morning when I woke up, I was still alive. The pills didn't work. And then I got involved in many relationships and then started drinking alcohol, but also that alcohol made me sick. So I asked for forgiveness, for forgiveness to you, Father. Every evil race by friends are not connection. You know more? I forgive you. The spirit of Christ forgives you. In Jesus' name, you're forgiven. God loves you. Let's live for Jesus. I greet you, my father. My name is Lupeka, and I'm from Vegas Fort. I'm here to confess regarding wrong connection. I brought my child here um, who had a condition of eczema. The man of God prayed for my child and my child got healed. Testimony. After my child got healed, we failed to bring a testimony. Then um, after that, uh, we met a certain lady. 
who who asked us uh, to bring a the, the child uh, to a church in Petersburg as he was sick. And Pardon me, this lady hired me uh, to take her husband to Petersburg as he was sick. My child then said that um, he was coming with us. I then um, told my child that he should rather stay with uh, his father as there was nobody to, to remain with the father at home. My child then said that um, the father um, visited his other children. I then said that it's fine, they can come with us. I put a sponge in the buggy, then we drove to church. We got there, um, that man was prayed for, and my child and I were also prayed for. After we were prayed for, in the morning we drove back home. After one week after we got back, we then heard then that our father was going to Mokopani. However, um, we could not go there. After one month, Manila Exmila Yavua Kakudro Fitisha Mola Bill. A month back, uh, rather, a month after, um, the child's eczema came back and it was severely so, as um, it was worse than it was previously. Kerer Tokore Morute Morape Oya Oya and Aqua Peters Baker up. Then we heard that there was a certain man of God uh, who was going to Petersburg. My firstborn daughter, who's 27 years of age, said that, no, um, let's rather go to Petersburg as she was scared to go to Papa as we did not um, bring back the testimony. Then I said, let me rather go with you guys. Then uh, my child who was sick, my first daughter and I, went to another man um, in Petersburg, not the one that we previously went to. As he was also, as he also had the anointing oil. Um, we had 800 rand um, with us. Then when we got there, the man of God um, started um, calling out the numbers, or rather the money, um, and he just went up with it with the amounts. Then I took 600 rand, of which I gave uh, each of my children 300 rand each to go to be prayed for, but I was not prayed for. 200 rand karega anointing oil. With the 200 rand, I bought the anointing oil. Bareke 100 rand. Which was 100 rand. Washala 100 rand karega livilo gele ka pancha motseleng. Um then I had 100 rand left with me and I said this was for the wheel in case uh, we had a puncher or rather for the tire. Um in in case we had a puncher on the way. Re atentili ona service ya tshatikal tewa ka bakeng sa gore we only attended one service there as they, they would charge us to be prayed for and we did not have enough money um, with us. Then we went back home. 
ngwanela ona pile a re fitla gae eximela ina pile e tšweletse ka kuduvana go fitisha then when we got home my child eczema condition even worsened re try lo tlotsa anointing oil ya pastor o we even ministered the anointing oil from that man of god i sang ka ya thusha ka selo however it did not help I forced my child to come to church in order for my father to pray for him. However, he said no, uh, he's scared of coming as um, our father would shout at him or, or would scull him out. I bought more anointing oils uh, in order for my child to use it to minister on himself and to come and bring a testimony. I bought the anointing oils so that uh, he could come bring a testimony and they indeed worked uh, that eczema disappeared. I then said, let's go to church, but he refused. Then he said that um, my other um, neighbors wanted um, to come to church, and I said, I will come with them. Then I said, um, They'll so much just bring a testimony. My child did come, however, did not bring a testimony. When I asked him, he said that he was scared to come through. When I wanted um, to go with him in order to... Um, register to give a testimony that time um, when they took names for people who wanted to give testimonies was already passed. Then they went back home but I slept at a lodge. He then said that he wanted to come back to church to give a testimony and I sent him. He did come, however, he said that he was refused um, to come and bring his testimony. Then I told him that my father said that you can't just go on your own to bring a testimony. I have to accompany you. Then that's where it all ended. Even today, the, the eczema has not come back. It wanted to, however, we continued ministering the anointing oils on him. Uh, he did come and our father prayed for him until today that eczema has not come back. The, not obedience. The other, um, the other one is regarding disobedience. One of the ushers um, pointed us where we should sit, but then I refused and I said that I wanted to sit at the end as we had come here in a, in a, in a taxi and um, we had food then we had, we had food in the taxi. Then I had a running stomach. So I wanted to sit in a place where it would be easier for me to go to the restroom whenever I needed to. Uh, 
Then he said that I did not want to listen to what he was saying as he did not send himself but he was sent to do his work. I lost control and I answered him in a very wrong way and I'm asking for forgiveness from that usher and also from my father. And I'm also asking for forgiveness uh, from my father from hopping from one church to another and also using different anointing walls from different churches. I thank you. I forgive you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you. If Spirit raised by friends from connection, you're no more. In Jesus' name, Amen. You're forgiven. Let's live for Jesus. Mm, I don't know where to start. Okay. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Mavis. Uh, my surname is Ntlapo. I'm from Our Park, Nigel. My confession is about a wrong connection and taking offense. Yes, I took offense here at church and uh, I would like the Spirit of the Lord to please forgive me about that. Um, I also connected myself wrongly. <laughs> um, my family is a family who doesn't believe in um, what you call Christianity. So I've been dreaming about the man of God telling me to uh, go to my sister. Then I connected myself to the wrong sister. So I would also like to ask for forgiveness for that and the Spirit of the Lord to forgive me. And one other thing, uh, I also like to ask Papa Lisiho to please forgive me uh, because I never asked him to be my spiritual father or to mentor me ever since I've been here. So, yeah. And one other thing is um, I've offended two people here at church. Um, and uh, I've tried to ask for forgiveness from them, but none of them forgave me. So uh, I, would, uh, I, just, I just feel like it's a heavy load on me. Um, so I, that's why I want to come on public to say, please forgive me. I hope they're watching. And, um, <laughs> and I also like our Father Papa Lissiho to help me. And if ever there's anything that I've forgotten, to please help me, and uh, yeah, that's all. I forgive you, the Spirit of Christ forgives you. In Jesus' name, you're forgiven. Let's live for Jesus. Next. I, I greet you all in the name of Jesus. This morning, my name is Pasega. I'm from Mamelodi. Uh, I came here with my uh, spiritual mother, Ma Queen. I don't know, she's uh, still around here. So my story is that I, from February, I started having dreams uh, that are not, you know, usual. Uh, there were dreams about uh, my family and other people that I'm related to uh, and so on. So uh, as I was going through that process, uh, I really felt like uh, God was showing me uh, what to do. And uh, I really felt like uh, it was visions on, uh, about what was about to happen and what I need to do as a person to, you know, uh, sort of maybe warn the people and also uh, lead them uh, where I can. So uh, from February, 
until March, uh, the dreams started to uh, become more scarier and scarier. And also, uh, some of them, the visions, uh, they were uh, correlating to, to my reality. So during the, uh, this, uh, that phase until now, uh, God was telling me what to do in order to avoid uh, certain things from, from happening. So my biggest problem was uh, this, this, this all obeying God and less, not listening to the voice of God, but you know, uh, choosing to listen to people that are around me because you know, he was communicating to me several times uh, day in, day out, more especially this week. And, you know, uh, I was sort of like, because uh, what the people were telling me is what I wanted to do. I chose to listen to people rather than, rather than to listen to God. And he was really uh, punishing me bit by bit, bit by bit. So now, uh, today, I uh, know uh, on Monday, uh, my spiritual mother came to me uh, because uh, my mother uh, told her that, uh, you know, me as a person, I, I am starting to become someone that she's not used to and uh, she doesn't like that. So she came by the house she visited us, we prayed, uh, she gave us advice, and she also gave uh, me one of those an anointing oil by uh, uh, Papa Leseho. So ever since Monday, I was drinking it and putting it on my forehead in the morning, and also uh, 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 in the night before I sleep. Uh, up until today. Today, when I arrived to, uh, here at the service, uh, I really felt like the service was uh, really talking to me personally because in some of the dreams, like the verses that we were reading uh, on Revelation about um, uh, about the uh, the things that are happening right now, like uh, the beast coming out of the pit and uh, 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 the serpents coming out the pit and coming out to, 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 to get people's lives. These are some of the things that, you know, uh, I've seen uh, in my dreams and I sort of like ignored. And uh, also I've disobeyed God on what he has told me to do and chose to listen to people. So I'd like to really, really uh, uh, confess on, 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 on my disobedience and I'd like to, to, to ask Father Leseho to also uh, uh, forgive me and also uh, uh, take my request to, to God for me. God loves you. Every evil race will find some wrong connection. Out of his life, out of his body, out of his soul. Thank you. I forgive you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you. Eh? Right. You're forgiven. Let's live for Jesus. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Emmanuel. I am from Winterfeld. Uh, today, I am here to confess about 
uh, wrong connection, and offense. Uh, it started in 2014. Uh, by the time I was the leader of LCM at school. Um, during the service at school, I didn't meet uh, Papa Leseho, but I just uh, called the ship. I don't know what happened. Now, since from that time, uh, the men of God from the school, they arranged a meeting for me, and they said that they want to deliver me because of I am demon-possessed. So they came, they prayed for me, but nothing happened. So now they decided to call other men of God from the community to come to assist them to deliver me. But when they came, they prayed for me, and nothing happened. So this caused uh, me to develop anger. And secondly, last year, I visited a, a certain church, and when I arrived there, they were preaching about Papa Leseho, saying that he feed people with grass, petrol, and there was a certain brother who knows me. He said that in the church, there is a boy who have the same anointing of Leseho. Then the men of God, those men of God were from Eastern Cape. They just came to me and the whole congregation, they surrounded me, uh, trying to deliver me. They were praying, saying, I have a gorilla spirit, snake spirit. And then I was in the middle and nothing happened. So from that day, and I developed anger again. And I am a, from my church, I am a brother, and every week God will show me a vision concerning the church and every members in the church. But when God can show me a vision about my father in the Lord, I am afraid to tell him. The other members, I can tell them. So I want God to forgive me and Papa Leseo to forgive me for defending him. Thank you. God loves you. No? I forgive you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you. Receive more of what they couldn't deliver. In Jesus' name. Amen. Receive money. They tried to deliver you first time. Group. Second time, a group of pastors. Third time, a group of pastors from Cape Town. Eastern Cape. From Eastern Cape. Yes. So it really shows what is in you. No man can take it. Just rejoice. Don't be offended. Don't be angry. In fact, invite more to come and deliver you. Amen. You have more of what anyone on earth can deliver. You're blessed. Thank you. It's of God. You're blessed. Amen. <laughs> blessed. You're forgiven. I greet everyone in the name of Jesus. My name is Prophet H.P. Monama. Uh, I'm from Mokopani, but for, for now I'm at Daviton. Uh, my confession is about a wrong connection. Uh, I started to come here in Raboni in 2016. My church was not growing. And then I was busy. Uh, I started the, the, the ministry at Beggarsford. And then the ministry was not growing. Things were not moving. Then I came here in, in, in July. I saw Papa one-on-one. -on -one. And then Papa uh, helped me, prayed for me. And then after one-on-one, -on -one, when I get back to Beggarsford, the ministry started to grow big, even uh, prosperity. It was, it was great in the church. So uh, when I was attending the crusades around the, 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 the place, and 
I will, when, when I'm attended, I will find a preacher speaking bad about Papa preaching against everything that is happening. And then I was offended. And then after then, uh, I end up uh, supporting them and speaking bad about the anointing of Papa uh, with my friends so that they can accept me. Uh, they were always saying this is not from God. And even though I know this is, it's, yeah, Papa is a man of God, so I, I supported them until I even uh, started to even to criticize other great men of God. So the ministry scattered. People started to rebel. Uh, the other group started their own church. And then until I, I lost the ministry at Beggarsford, then I went to Daviton to start the, the, the ministry. Things became worse. I, I was even using uh, oil in the church, anointing oil. Then I even stopped it because I want the, the pastors around to, to welcome me. So now things are bad. I lost ministry. Even in Daviton, things are bad. I stopped. I'm even confused. I don't want know what to do. Please, Papa, forgive me. And uh, God forgive me for all this. So tell us, what was going on in your mind when you you know that this is the truth and you ended up siding with the people who were criticizing. What was going on in your mind? Uh, my problem was that I was disparate to, to, to be connected with, mm. with other servants of God. So that was desperate to be connected with other servants? Yes. So you abandoned what you believed in? Yes. So, so you, wanted, you wanted fellowship with others? with others mm. so it affected me in this way so i asked papa to forgive me and welcome me back as a son no, don't do record love i forgive you the spirit of christ forgive you I receive more of what you lost in jesus name amen god is with you you bring your testimony you're free let's live for jesus I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Debo Siboza. I'm from Malilani. Uh, my confession is about um, offense and disobedience. Um, with the offense, I uh, started when I was supporting this other woman of God. Uh, she used to have services on Wednesday. So I used to go there in the name of supporting the work of the Father. When I got there, she was preaching, and she turned to say, uh, stop using anointing oils, um, especially you, Boza, who said you must apply anointing oil on people's bodies because that thing, it makes them darker. And I was like, wow, what is this? I went to this other man of God, and I said to him, you know what? Since she's not preaching the word, but talking things like this, I'm going to stop coming here and uh, support her. And it went even to my workplace where I'm working. Uh, there is this other woman of God as well that I once invited to come and preach because I'm working uh, at the radio station as a presenter. So I invited this woman of God to come and preach. When she gets there, she preached about anointing oil, false prophets. I was so offended. And then I decided not to call that woman again to come and preach because it's like she's against me because I do use anointing oil that I get from um, our house, Raboni. So I said, no, I'm not going to stop going there uh, to support this woman of God. And that other one, even till today, I stopped calling her to come and preach. So uh, I was uh, like offended, very offended. And uh, the second confession of the disobedient, I remember this other time, Papa said to me, I welcome you, my son, but what you have to do is that um, come and attend the pastor's conference every time we've got 
um, the pastor's conference and leaders come and attend that. I came, but I don't remember how many times I came here. Um, it's been long I don't show up. Um, I even went to an extent of banking tithes. And um, the thing that is happening in the church with me it is uh, not taking instructions from the Father. It is the very same thing. At times I'm going to talk to them. They don't do the way I instructed them. I feel guilty that, no, 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 something went wrong because I cannot be a son without obeying the Father, without taking instructions. So I'm here, Papa, sitting as I am to ask for forgiveness. May you please forgive me to everything that I've done wrong. Thank you. I forgive you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you. You're forgiven, but restored. You're not restored in Jesus' name. Amen. You're blessed. Of course. I would like to greet everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. My confession, my name is given. I'm from Davidton. My confession is about wrong connection, disobedience, and offense, and last. Uh, during the week after Good Friday, I went home Limpopo, so I, I cannot remember exactly what was happening. I was with my mom, and uh, I, I I told him about the I told her about the anointing and from there she just said something very bad about it and uh, a, day, a day or so after the same thing happened with my sister and I also tried to tell her and then she also said something but the same thing that my mom said that uh, it's this anointing, it's, it's made out of faith from people. So that thing just, it, it always pops up in my mind all the time. And just a week or so after that, I, uh, while I was still at home, uh, I had a car that I was Suppose I, was, I actually had it for my job because I have to have a car for the job that I'm doing. And it had two stickers and the anointing oil inside. Uh, it happened that uh, it happened that uh, few just few days or a week after that and then I had uh, some sexual activities in that car and uh, few I think a week later and that car uh, my my young brother was driving it and then just lost control in the open road and it crashed and uh, the other thing about offense is that uh, just few days after that in that weeks and my boss was supposed to deposit me my money and then he didn't deposit all the money that I was supposed to get it was short about something seven to eight thousand rand and then I came back and then I went and spoke to him about it and then he accused me that I'm working for other people and all this and then it offends me. I've, I, I've got offended and another thing about offense since um, so it started from from somewhere around 2000 while I was staying with my father 
and we started having agreements there and then since from then that thing always comes like it follows me i i, I always it like it built that anger from in me i always my relationships don't go well my career my my relationships in my career also don't go well with my bosses we always fight uh, my love life also it's just a mess and uh, and uh, about uh, about anger also every time every time when something good has to happen in my life something bad takes place and I always get offended about that. And then about last, and um, my attention is always caught around women, I can say. So I'm asking for men of God to forgive me for all these things and to God, please. God loves you. I'm forgiven. The Spirit of Christ forgives you. You're forgiven in Jesus' name. You're forgiven. God loves you. Let's love Jesus. Greetings. My name is Tato Puka. I'm from Letlabile. My confession is about wrong connection. I started to come here at Raboni Ministry and I attended for a few years. Then my pastor was anointed to have a ministry at our small area, so he was, he was anointed. So he opened a ministry. Then we attended that ministry until Pastor told us that he cannot continue with the ministry. He must go back to Papa and do some things. He must finish them before he open again the ministry. So I decided to go to the nearest uh, church. So I, I attended there uh, last year. When I got there, They were against the anointing oils, and I was at the worship team at that time. I was having the two bottles at my house, so I was using them behind their bags. I was afraid, even in my business, I was just hide the the bottles. When I use them in my, in my saloon, I have to hide them from them when they come to visit me during the daily basis. So they were against their anointing. Well, they say here at this church, we don't use anointing oil and waters. We use pure God. And I say, I was confused, like, what is happening, God? Am I in the right place? Then I started to be confused. Then I asked God that, is it the right place? It, it is where you want me to fellowship God, God, and say, God, show me something. Then I had a dream. I dreamt about that to prophetess. He was, she was looking at me looking at me and he looked she looked back at the um the leader of the worship team then the lead, they were wearing black and white and when i come i was wearing red so i just go to the worship team then i reverse i go back to the seat then because of the we were not connect connecting with our closer i went back so 
When I was at home, I asked God, why this? Why Jesus? Why are you showing me this? Then I don't know how to come out because they showed me love. I was there and I told myself that I'm there, Jesus, because I love you. I'm doing it for your love and I'm respecting. I don't care what people are saying, but I'm doing it for you. Then, But it disturbed me because they will continue talking about pastors with oil and whatever, then I, I, I didn't concentrate at all. So, Pastor, as you say that Jesus, God already had grace on me. He already forgiven me. I don't know how am I going to get out there. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Forgive me. Forgive me, Pastor. Simple, no? God loves you, no? Just make the right decision. It's simple. You understand me? God loves you. Every evil raised by offense and wrong connection, you are no more. I forgive you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you. In Jesus' name, amen. You saw God delivered you from that. You understand what I mean? So you just have to make this in. With wrong connection, you can be delivered, you can be forgiven. You also take another step. You cut completely. Amen. God is with you, ne? Thank you, Jesus. I mean, if the, such a demon came out, I mean, everybody you saw, it's grace. You were not going to come and confess. But God points out of that which you are not aware of. And yes. God takes it out. So what are you going to do for God now? I'm going to thank him. And I'm continue to worship him and to love him. So cut everything. Amen. God loves you. Let's live for Jesus. Uh, um, uh, greetings, man of God. Uh, I would like to ask for your forgiveness uh, concerning uh, disobedience. Uh, because uh, when you delivered me on Tuesday, you said I must cut completely uh, the connections which I had. Uh, so in my mind, uh, when I went back home, I, let me say, I disconnected from uh, the people that I, I wanted to disconnect it from for, from the people that I'm in do, uh, that they are my business partners, but uh, I it's something that I couldn't do completely because I said to myself that if I were to connect disconnect from them, uh, how um, am, uh, am I going to be able to engage with them further in terms of uh, the things uh, that we are doing concerning our project. So I decided to disconnect, uh, I, I, uh, let me say I, I left WhatsApp and then I said I will com uh, communicate with them only via email and also maybe via phone call if there is a need for an engagement uh, concerning business. Then uh, what happened on the following day, uh, let me say the things were stagnant in terms of uh, my business and then I had to escalate an issue to, uh, to, 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 to uh, an, uh, let me say, uh, they, uh, for, to another department so that they can intervene on the issue. So when I received uh, the response, I l engaged with my business partners. And then when I engaged with them, after engaging with them, I saw that I started to become confused. And then uh, also when I engaged with one of uh, my business partner, immediately after engaging with him, I felt like something was entering my body. And uh, uh, and let me say, at times uh, uh, when we also attended some meetings and we did, uh, uh, when I would uh, engage with them, let me say there were certain things which would happen that uh, led me to be affected, to be contaminated, and uh, my mind being affected. As, as we speak, 
right now, let me say, in terms of uh, my mind uh, functioning in the state that it was, uh, it's, it's, no, it's no longer the way it is. And uh, also, uh, my, my speech is affected, and also I normally, um, yeah, let me say, uh, sleep during the day instead of doing things. I just get tired and I just uh, continuously get sick. And uh, let me say even some other time, uh, even before you spoke about uh, disconnecting from the, uh, the wrong connections, uh, let me say my conscience would uh, let me say my spirit was uh, not uh, feeling right in terms of also the connections which I, I was having with them. And also uh, another thing, uh, when you mentioned that uh, other connections are coming from our families, uh, I, what I can say is that uh, at this, at the present moment, uh, also, uh, I when I left home, there were issues and all uh, that I had with them, and also, also other things were related to, uh, let me say, uh, my Christian life and also the anointing of the house, and I defended the, uh, uh, the anointing and. Uh, as we speak right now, I haven't uh, went home ever since December because of uh, also those things. Uh, even when they requested me to come, I didn't, I didn't uh, want to go because I, let me say, I feel like not going back home. And uh, another thing that I wanted to confess about is that uh, when I mentioned in my previous confession where I confessed about uh, seeking uh, assistance uh, on my condition, uh, like uh, going to places, uh, I forgot to mention that uh, I went as far as also uh, trying to seek help via the phone uh, uh, be, or, be, or, or, uh, concerning my condition. I engaged uh, with, uh, let me say, there are online, they will say there are online traditional healers. I tried to engage uh, to find out if they can help me and also another thing, uh, all I, uh, from the previous religion that I was in, when I got the verses for, from the spiritual leader, he also gave me the number of uh, another person who can be able to assist me with my condition. I contacted the person and I was supposed to meet with the person, but it never well, went through. And uh, another thing, uh, let me say, uh, uh, let me say it's, it's a thing that happened a while and then it happened again. Uh, in my, uh, let me say, I wanted to also, uh, let me say, uh, uh, I almost uh, joined uh, a cult group uh, uh, because I was also seeking also as, 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 uh, uh, assistance in terms of my condition because I have been, uh, let me say, suffering uh, with headaches for a while. I've been to hospitals and they have done scans and everything, but uh, my condition was never resolved. So I tried uh, everything uh, uh, for my condition to, make, to, to, to find help for concerning my condition.
of Jesus Christ, if that caused by offense and connection, you're no more. Divine. Destroy you. I forgive you. Uh, an another thing that I wanted, uh, I, I forgot to mention is that uh, when I was coming for deliverance, and then uh, uh, I, when I was told, uh, let me say, when I was being delivered by uh, Pastor Nguani. Uh, he mentioned uh, th uh, certain things uh, concerning my, let me say, uh, I, I'm not sure if I can say my gift or my something related to my spiritual life. So I then later developed uh, doubts as my condition continued. Uh, uh, which also those doubts uh, ended up for uh, me having negative thoughts. And also sometimes uh, those neg negative thoughts ended up uh, when uh, sometimes when, uh, uh, when you would minister or uh, the disciples would minister, I then started to have uh, funny thoughts in my head. Uh, while they were ministering, and also I took offense uh, the other day. Uh, I was seated this side, and then I was feeling uh, pains on my shoulder. Then I requested uh, to see one of the disciples because those pains, I like by that time, I couldn't, uh, like we say, endure. So when I went outside, I was engaging with uh, him, and then people came, and they watched, and then they were laughing, and then I took offense, because also what I've noticed is that other people, uh, they would talk here at church, and they would laugh concerning my condition, and then I also partook, uh, I took offense concerning that. And also I, after, when after entering, uh, I knew uh, when you spoke, uh, I, uh, you spoke something, uh, you said, uh, uh, I, 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 I believed that uh, it was uh, related to uh, those pains. You said uh, other people, it's high blood or something, and then I took offense uh, concerning that. Yeah, not to what God is with you, ne? So I forgive you the spirit of Christ, forgive you. So what do you need? To know is that the washing has taken over. If the washing is taken over, this presentation later. Yes. Just be obedient to the washing of the word only. Okay. When presentation takes over, no man can separate. Okay, so no one can snatch you out. Okay, another thing that I want to ask, uh, because uh, I'll be going back, uh, as I mentioned in my confession, uh, concerning the relationships that I'm having with my business partners. So I don't know how to handle the I issue. I spoke how to live with the good and the bad. Don't just agree with what is wrong. But if it has to cut, you see we are forgiven. If we give everything unto God, if it has to cut, it's going to cut. Then you continue, God will help you. Okay. You get it, ne? Yes. Yeah, not to worry. God is with you. I will still help you. Don't worry. You're forgiven. Let's live for Jesus. Tumelang, greetings. Lina laka ki Petrishi yawa hatsuwai ki tsu akoli fiswani kumpumalanga. My name um, is Patricia, and I'm from Mpumalanga. Confession yaka eka ha wrong connection disobedience and the offense. My confession is regarding 
disobedience, offense, as well as wrong connection. Ke thomile ho ntla mo rena boni ka 2010 ke tlisa ke ngwana usaka. I started coming to Raboni Center Ministries in the year 2010 and my sister's child brought me here. Mm. E Jesus se ne tsama pila ho fihlella papa a Jesus ba to biai. All was going well until the demonstration of power through the eating of the grass. Ebe ena a tswa ko Raboni a thomotsa ma o dikereketse ding. Then my sister's child left um, Raboni Center Ministries and started going um, to other churches. And, and said that I should also follow her uh, and leave Raboni Center Ministries. However, I refused. Yes. Papa ona le mahatla mara a tlhaha kai Um she said a lot of things regarding our father when she left here um of which one of the things she, she said was that our father has power however where does that power come from And then ebe a bolela hape kana ke papa a ile ba a etela e moruto mong go ntle a re kana ke a le koteng She also mentioned um, regarding um, the time our father went to visit another ministry elsewhere. And eba o lela hape le ka the sunny papa e ileng hape ya ya o hetela go teng a re he a bua the sunny o ngwetse ko Facebook o hore sa sirang se rong. She also mentioned um, regarding the son of the house who went to visit another country. Um, she said that when the son came back uh, to South Africa, he wrote on his Facebook page that what he was doing was wrong. And then after Beckett said to a change, I am going to repent. So, I am going to repent. Um, after two weeks, uh, I said that he was not going to repent regarding what was written, and um, my cousin, or rather my cousin's um, child, said that that means that um, the son's father called him uh, to to tell him to write what he wrote on his Facebook page. So hence, the level of Raboni TV, Papa Ari. When I speak, it's no longer I. I am the father of one. She said that um, the son was called uh, by his father to change what was written on Facebook. Then um, there was also a time when we were watching RTV when our father said that when he stands and speaks, it's no longer him. Our papa who misinterpreted scripture. She then said that our father was misinterpreting the scripture. And again, when Nailinga were offended because necessity shallow higher, I got offended from that as I understood what was meant. And then, happy, happy, you were in every Nantuki bullet thing. You hurry. Papa, when I had now regained Ali Wani at the Hanko Mujim and a cupella. What I thought was that our father thinks that he's the only one who's from God and for that I'm asking for forgiveness. And then na ho tlwella motho o because le last dine ke na le yena a mpotsa hore ko krekeng ya lena ke utlwile hore ba re hona le di confession wa ile na le ba offended ka re a sa bu a se selo le lena motho Um, I would also like to apologize for listening to this particular person because um, about last week I was with her and then she said that I hear that in your church um, there is what they call confessions. Why do you guys get offended? As you are not related, it's not your brother nor your sister. So, I don't know how to do it, but I don't know how to do it. The whole thing would have come around, it affected the innocent. What's an open medicine? 
Therefore, um, I would like to ask uh, for, for forgiveness as um, she is now going to Medunsa. She's studying medicine. She's going Yes. Can I go to second year, Papa? Salene, I fail, Papa. I'm a patel lady. Fist a high. Whilst she was doing um, her second year at Medunsa, um, our father paid for her fees, but then she failed there. Yona, it will affect the leka hori. Selene, I take an at home home, but what be the go for school fees? This has affected her in a way that um, she got mentally disturbed and she was admitted at a mental institution. Nothing affected like our original spirit of lust. It has affected me in a sense that I now have spirit of lust. And I'm stagnant spiritually. And I'm also spiritually stagnant. I thank you. God loves you. So where's the person? She's still sick? Keep on relapsing. So let's trust God, no? Yes. Because we can see everybody who speaks against anointing that God affected. And my son didn't confess after two weeks. The time he landed when he came back from the other country, he confessed. We were all invited and it was a trap. You get it? We speak plainly, and I speak plainly. The truth sets free. The truth sets free. You get it? The truth sets free. When you speak the truth, you speak the truth irrespective of how old or how experienced the person is who's doing that. This anointing is from God. Huh? Now I know. Huh? Now I know. Now you know. Yes. You heard people others confessing. Yes. Groups of pastors trying to deliver. Yes. Another group trying to deliver. Yes. Nothing happens. Yes. At first so I... if you say people have got a spirit of monkey, a spirit of gorilla, who's a gorilla between the one? Who's a gorilla? Because if you don't, listen, once you say to people, this is that, prove that it's that. If it's not, and you leave people in confusion, where is God? You understand? Where is God? Because there's no way that you can put people to people. I mean, you have to give people the truth and not leave them in confusion. If you leave them in confusion, where is God? Show it plainly. The Apostle Paul says, pray for me so that I may proclaim the gospel clearly. What is clearly? Clearly is not standing and telling people those words, saying the God, the God of this, the, 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 the scripture says this. It's not clear until it's demonstrated. When it's revealed, it's clear. You get it? And how it is clear again, let's take it further. To show that it's clear, if anybody can't defeat it, if anybody can't deliver it, it's clear. The gospel is clear. The word must be tested. You get it? So I'm saying this deliberately and clear, and now I'm saying with boldness because I can never be afraid of anybody who cannot prove. If you cannot come with evidence, I'm not afraid of you. I'm speaking with boldness. This is God, and I cannot leave what God has given me, and I'm still producing more sons. God is with you. Every evil raised by offense and wrong connection, you are no more. I forgive you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you. You're forgiven in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's live for Jesus. I greet Papa in the name of Jesus. My name is Silisha Ramalikana. I reside in Harangua. My confession is about offense. And my confession goes as follows. In 2014, I used to fellowship in a certain church and I thought it was my home. It was during that era of demonstration of the tree of life where Papa used to give congregants flowers to eat and they experienced healing. That time, I was just a visitor here at Raboni. 
One Sunday, Papa was busy giving the congregants flowers to eat, and it happened that I visited the church that particular day here at Raboni. After Papa gave the congregants flowers to eat, some of the flowers fell on the ground, and Papa said, whoever believes may come and pick up some of the flowers that have fallen on the ground. And I ran and picked some. As I went back to my chair, I took out my purse and put some of the flowers that I've picked on the ground and put them in my purse, believing that I will receive my financial breakthrough. Then after the service, I went home. The next Sunday, I went back where I fellowshiped as normal. During the week, the pastor where I, 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 I attended the, church, the service, the church aid, phoned me. He told me that I must bring my bags and purses so that he can pray for them for financial breakthrough. And I innocently gave him my purses as well as my bags in order for him to pray for them. It was on a Friday when they prayed for my bags and purses. As they were praying for them, um, we all know that flowers become dry after some few days. And remember, I even forgot that I have placed some few leaves off in my purse of the flowers. And I gave my uh, purses to the pastor innocently, so forgetting that there were some flowers inside my purse and they became dry. Uh, as they were praying for my purse, they found those dry leaves inside my purse, according to uh, them as they looked. It looked like it was moody. They called me and asked me what is happening because they found things that looked like moody in my purse. Uh, can I further explain as to what is happening concerning that matter? I explained to them everything that happened that I visited Raboni in Harangua and Pastor Liseho gave congregants flowers to eat. And it happened that I also took pieces of the flowers and placed them in my purse uh, for me to get my financial breakthrough as I explained to Elsa was explaining to them. They did not believe me, and as they were murmuring on the side, I could hear that they were saying that Pastor Liseho is using Muti to grow the church. It broke my heart. I knew that those dry leaves were flowers, not moody. I even told them that I don't even consult, but they didn't believe me. I kept on going to the church, but as I was fellowshipping, I experienced rejection because um, they thought I'm using moody from Pastor Lesejo. It broke my heart and I became angry. I stayed for some weeks not fellowshipping with them anymore because I faced rejection. One day in my dreams, I dreamt running as if people were chasing me. As I was running in the dream, I saw the pastor where I used to fellowship at in my dream, and I ran to him hoping that he would rescue me. Then the pastor, instead of rescuing me, he gave me his back. I was so angry that how can the pastor that I trusted so much give me his back instead of helping me, rescuing me. As I was crying, Papa Liseho came in my dreams and he held my hand and walked along with me. He said, my child, you are fine. That's when I started coming, fellowshipping here at Raboni. And again, the pastor that um, I used to fellowship there, I remember at some time, at some point, I was communicating with him. I wrote him SMSs, personal stuff that um, actually was so deep. Actually, I was hoping and praying that he would uh, deliver me from those um, SMSs as I was telling him personal stuff. Instead, he distributed that SMSs to the congregants. And uh, I also faced rejection concerning that. And I asked myself, how can the pastor which I trust do such a thing? 
and I was fellowshipping with my family, some of my family at the church. So I faced rejection as well at home because I was called a hypocrite based on the SMSs that I uh, I was uh, sending the pastor for him to, to, to help me, but instead he made a joke out of me. So um, that affected me uh in my mind as well and as well as I've said that I faced rejection and again I uh, became offended so I'm asking Papa Lesoho to forgive me for offense. Every evil raised by offense and wrong connection, you are no more. I forgive you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you in Jesus' name. Amen. You are forgiven. God is with you. Let's live for Jesus. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Makoko Mukomani. I'm from Limpopo. I confess wrong connection. I'm here to confess about disobedience, offense, and a wrong connection. And then, really, November. October. Last year, before more, I have a bless again. We did a wedding celebration uh, during the month of October last year, but prior to that, we were blessed by another pastor from another church in the year 2014. So, we have a lot of people who are then we started to compare the anointings between that man of God and the anointing of Professor Lesego Daniel. So, ya be le gore re fetja re kgetha gore tla fellowship le 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 go tla lesa meng go ga ya papa lesego. Uh, then we took a resolution that we will fellowship in one of uh, Professor Lesego Daniel's uh, sons at home in Limpopo. So, Gerriya Munyanya Velore, Kabakalaram, Pastola Matomese, Aritu Shaga, Origirela, Kavar Blessa, Aro Ofarela, Kajela Lejela. When we were doing that wedding celebration, because uh, the, the previous pastor helped us. Uh, uh, during that celebration, and he even offered some of the things. So, then we decided that he should be the one coming to bless us. So, then later on, we realized that um, he was a wrong connection due to some of the things that. Uh, that happened afterwards. And then young way Avaya Chajila Munyanya would do a lower will a real Tabaya Kek Savisi. The other thing was the issue of, uh, during the wedding celebration uh, that the, the, the guy who did our cake services. Yavelo Rijilogel or Rila, Jibola, Velo, Regigel or Jibesi, Tadonia Mujimena, Billet, Juanaja, real wrong connection. Uh, he said things that were not in accordance with the will of God for us, and that caused a wrong connection for, for us. And then as a result, then Tabela Toma Yansuya Mon Meling, Katomago Wajwa, Katomago Lusa, Rosloge, Gigi, Tabalin, Jugahonoa, or Balagawozi. As a result, that affected me uh, uh, physically, and uh, I could no longer read the word of God. And spiritually, 
And that reduced my spiritual life as well. Then as the men of God started teaching about wrong connection, we realized that somewhere we did not do things right. And then young web business, yeah, we look at Leona, eh, yeah, Tomaya Lusa, Jikasta, the beginning of you like an allergy customer, yeah, Lusa, Jikasta, more altogether. And one of my businesses lost customers altogether. So then, Baba Mba, you look at it, say, Bajiria, like you say, we see changing way, yeah, we look at it, Baba Nongolo, that's all. And some of the people which I rendered services to them, they, they just, they were owing me. And then, eh, so by so saying, I would like to ask for forgiveness from the servant, from the men of God for uh, the issue of disobedience and uh, the, the issue of wrong connection. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. My name is Kolofelo Mukomani. Uh, next to me is my husband. I uh, confess the same thing. We are going to confess about uh, one and the same thing. Uh, the disobedience. Uh, after wrong connection. Uh, the man of God whom we fellowshiped with back at home, after we realized that he was a bad connection. So I found myself very angry and asking myself that why did things why were things like that? So in affect my spiritual life care. Kimotwelo gore ke be ke prophesy mara go ndwela go sa direga selo. It affected my spiritual life so much because I used to be a person who was prophesying but currently there's nothing happening. Uh, for me, what I get prophesy, get sanctuary, get give a house with a calendar, yeah, yeah, pastel, so, and then can we touch her? Can we get a whole feel something? For me to be able to prophesy, I should first be before the calendar of the man of God. So, and afterwards, that's where I'll be able to to feel something. So, ke ke rata gore mshanga mo dimar lebalele kadi loka moka. We would like to ask for the men of God to forgive us for everything. Amen. Amen. God loves you. I forgive you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you. In Jesus' name. Be restored. In Jesus' name. You're forgiven. God is with you. You'll bring your testimony. You'll bring your testimony. God is with you. Let's live for Jesus. Good morning, and my name is Nkateko Bambisa. I am from Lipompo, but currently I am a student at the University of Pretoria. My confessions goes as follows. I have two confessions. One is about bad connections, and one is about um, offenses. The one about bad connections, Papa prophesied yesterday, today morning, saying that we have bad, connection, bad connections through our mothers. Uh, this year, I went home during Esther. When I got home, uh, it was evening, and then we were sitting with my mother and my cousins, and then we had a conversation about Papa, saying that uh, Papa is a great man, he does miracles, he's sent by God, but they all didn't agree with me. They say that Papa, the things he does, they are not from God. What kind of a man makes people drink uh, um, 
petrol, what kind of a man makes people eat grass. And then I defended Papa, not knowing that I shouldn't defend the Holy Spirit. God is going to be the one who defends him. My second confession is about uh, offense. Um, my dad is a, a man who I feel like he loves my sister, my older sister. So every time I have to ask something from my father, he will always, I will always have that mindset saying that uh, he won't do anything for you. He'll always do things for your sister more than you. So every time I have to ask something from my father, I get that anger in myself, telling myself, if he doesn't do things for me, I'll kill myself, I'll write messages to him. So every time I get offended, it also has led me to it also has led me to my spiritual decreasing way I can no longer uh, do the works of God I can no longer fast I can no longer pray I used to be a praying person I used to be a fasting person who used to prophesy and heal people but now I can no longer do those stuff and it also has led me to I lost, oh God. I lost also the man of God that God has put in my life for me. I also have lost the engagement, the ring that he gave me, and everything in my life just is not working anymore. And like nothing nothing is working in my life. So I would like God to forgive me for every bad connection that I had, every offense, every anger that I have. I would ask, I would love Papa to also forgive me for also wanting to defend him. Thank you. God loves you. You understood now, ne? You just need to cut everything and do it right, ne? Every evil raised by offense and wrong connection. <laughs>